Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to be doing something kind of fun. We're going to be coloring this picture here. This is from an 80s themed coloring book. Coloring the 80s. Relax and rewind. There are some other cool pictures in here too, but I decided to go with this one today. We're going to be doing something kind of funny with it. Um, we're not going to use just any old markers. We're going to be using a certain kind. We have <laughs> Crayola Silly Stints Stinky Washable Markers. There are 10 of them in here. Um, someone asked me to get some of these and um, just uh, see what they smell like and just um, give my opinion on the markers. These are washable, broad line markers. <laughs> they stink and we have little flies around them. <laughs> Look on the back here. Um, we have a little information about it, and you have the different uh, scents here. Crayola Silly Scents Stinky Markers are washable, broad line markers infused with 10 fun foul scents and colors to match. Um, they wash off skin and can be easily cleaned from most clothing fabrics. So here we have these scents. Here we have Moldy Sponge. Old Shoe, Scallion, Cough Syrup, Work Boot, Barbecue Grill, Dirty Laundry, Grass, Bacon, and Flat Tire. Now I think bacon would smell good, and I don't even know what a flat tire would smell like. I have no idea. I have not opened these. I have not, I have not sniffed them yet, so I don't know. We're going to find out together, and as we test them, as we sniff them, we're going to use them to color this uh, totally radical, totally tubular <laughs> picture here. It's like something off Saved by the Bell or something. So I'm going to pop this open, and we are going to just go down the line. We're just going to open one at a time and try them, and then color a little bit and try the others. Okay, I just popped the, um, the top open and you have these little flaps there's one here and here and I just bent this back so you can see the markers in there now I'm just going to set this aside I'm going to just set it right over there okay now I'm just gonna start you know we'll start on this end we'll start on this end and work our way down now this one says it is a flat tire and I was not aware that a flat tire smelled different from a normal tire. Apparently they do. Let's see. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh, have mercy. That does not smell like, but you know what? It kind of does smell like a tire. It's, ooh, it's very strong. It's, um, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> it is incredibly strong. It, you know what it smells like? It smells like um, melting plastic, like if um, you have some wires that are overheating. Oh, God, that's what it smells like. Oh, my word. And I just wonder, like, if you take this and color with it, well, it seems to work really well as a marker. We're just going to take it, and um, we're just going to color in some sections. Now, this is just a, um, a black marker. I mean, it kind of smells like a tire. It smells like a tire on a hot day. You know, they get that hot rubber smell. Kind of like that. It is not a pleasant smell. They're right. It is definitely stinky. It is not one that um, I would want as a perfume or anything like that. It's, um, boy, it's something. I'm going to smell this paper here that I just colored. Definitely smell it. It is incredibly strong. <laughs> oh Lord. I bet you know what? I bet the people who created these markers had a ball <laughs> coming coming up with these smells. Like how did they decide on ten 
10 smelly things to use for this set of markers. I should send these into school. I bet my son's teacher would love that. Oh dear. It is horrible. It is absolutely, oh it is horrible. And every time I smell it, I swear it's worse. It's like the longer the lid is off, the stronger it gets. It's like one of those gremlins when you water, you know, put water on it. Oh my god. Oh, it's awful. Or feed it after midnight. That's what this marker is like. Oh, it's awful. Now I'm just coloring in these random shapes. <laughs> it is really, really smelly. Okay, so flat tire. Oh, Lord, I cannot put that up to my nose anymore. So flat tire smells like hot electrical wires, but in a way it does kind of smell like a tire. It's really odious. I don't like that. Okay, now here we have another one. It looks kind of brown, I guess. Okay, this is a work boot. This smells like a work boot. This is not going to be good, is it? Well, it's stinky, so probably not. It looks dark. It's just brown. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it smells like um, wet leather. Like if um, you wore your tennis shoes out in the rain and they get that funky smell. That's exactly what it is. It smells like wet tennis shoes. Ew. It's not as bad as flat tire, though. It's, it's, it's not pleasant, but it's not quite as revolting as flat tire. Oh. Yeah, it smells like wet tennis shoes. The color's nice, though. You get a nice, um, brown here. And everything you color develops that odor. It develops that smell. Like if I pick this up and sniff it. No, I can still smell the flat tire. Oh, it's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's um it's bad, but it's not as bad as the first one. I wouldn't well, I mean, I guess you could say it smells like a work boot. Like a Mm, yeah, definitely does not smell like a new item. Hmm. It is a pretty brown. I'm I'm torn. Like there's cognitive dissonance here because it smells horrible, but the color is actually really pretty. I like the color. Now we obviously are not sticking with the '80s color scheme here. You know, I don't have teal and hot pink or anything. So far we have black and brown. We will have other colors. But I'm thinking they're probably not going to be super vibrant awesome, awesome colors. Probably not. Yeah, they're going to stick to more drab colors, I would be willing to bet. They don't want you associating pretty colors with these smells. <laughs> You might not want to buy their markers anymore. So I'm just um I'm just going around the page, picking little spots to color, to color coloring them in. Let's do this section right here. Yeah, I doubt we're going to get the whole picture done. We might. Probably not. I mean, there are a lot of sections in here to be colored. Probably take a little while. That's nice. One more. Right there. Yeah, that's, um... Ew. Ugh. <laughs> it just smells like... You know, it kind of smells like something old like um your grandma's attic or something 
or just like an old suitcase or something. It's, you know, something that's been closed up for a long time. It's kind of musty. It's kind of like, yeah, kind of like that. Just smells like it's, um, I don't know, just, you know, like an old suitcase that's been closed up and left in the attic for 20 years. It's kind of like that. Or wet, wet tennis shoes, a pair of wet uh, leather shoes that you got caught out in the rain in. It also has a little bit of a smell of, um, like dirt, like dirt and wet leaves, a little bit. Ugh, yeah, just a little, sort of a woods, woodsy, woodsy smell. I would say. Yeah, so that is a uh, work boot. Work boot. I still say it's a pretty color, though. I like the color. All right, what do we have next? Okay, the next one is just like a beige color. This is old shoe. Well, now, see, I kind of thought this smelled like an old shoe. So I'd be curious to see what the difference is between work boot and and old shoe, which is this one. Zach Morris would be very disappointed in the color scheme of this picture. All right, you can open this up. You can see, you know, of course, it always looks dark on the marker, and you can't really tell until you, you know, color it on the page. But so, this is old shoe. Let's see. No, that doesn't smell like an old shoe. Actually, you know what it kind of smells like? It kind of smells like a new pair of shoes. You know, when you first take them out of the box and they have that new shoe smell. It's almost like new car smell, but it's a little different. That does not smell anything like an old shoe. It smells like a new pair of shoes to me, honestly. It doesn't even really stink. It smells like a new pair of shoes, which I, I always kind of like that smell. Because <laughs> it, it reminds me of the new car smell. Yeah, it doesn't. I wouldn't say it stinks. And also, there's a little bit of a whiff of, um, you know, those, those Sharpie markers that they, um, th the ones that people like to sniff because they kind of get a high off of it. It smells a little bit like that. But no, I wouldn't say it smells like an old shoe. Um, and it actually doesn't really stink, not to me. But let's see what the color is like. Okay, it's really kind of similar to that one. Looks a little more yellowish though. It's pale. Well, it's almost like a gold color, like a yellowish uh, gold color. It's not sparkly or metallic or anything, but it's looks like a gold color, like a an antique gold color. So, like we took this one. doesn't go on too strong either. It's um, kind of a muted color. Just take this one, do this big section here. It kind of looks like a number seven. I mean, I don't mind coloring a big area with this one because to me it doesn't stink. It actually smells kind of nice. I like it. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not going to sit here and get stoned off of it or anything, but, um, yeah, it just smells like, um, I mean, I'm thinking of new shoes because my kids just started back to school and, you know, you have to get shoes and take them out of the box and you can kind of smell them when you take them out. Yeah. Yeah, it goes on all right. It's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. See? But it's not a thick, deep color. It's not a rich color. A little thin. See? You can see how thin that looks. It almost looks like a wood grain. After you've colored enough of an area, it kind of looks like a wood grain. I think it smells, I think it smells okay. And also, um, 
it kind of reminds me of the way it smells in a department store, like if you're walking around in Macy's or something like that. It kind of has, kind of has that same smell, and just every now and then you'll get a whiff of it. Just, um, it's hard to describe, but it smells a lot like this marker. It just smells like new stuff. Definitely doesn't smell anything like old shoes. This one does. <laughs> that one definitely does. This one, no, not at all. I wouldn't say it smells like old shoes at all. I mean, to me, a pair of old shoes is going to have kind of like um, a musty smell, maybe a sweaty smell. This doesn't smell like that at all. Not, not to me, anyway. I think it smells pretty, pretty spiffy. been a very busy day for me. My kids started back to school. I went to work, came home, mowed the yard, picked up my younger son, took him to get his hair trimmed, came home, made dinner. <sighs> Tired. <laughs> it's been a hectic day. There. Very nice. That's a pretty color. It's just like a burnished gold. Alright, so that's Old shoe, which is actually not bad at all. Doesn't smell like anything like an old shoe. In my in my humble opinion, it it doesn't. Okay. Let's see what's next. Oh, this is kind of a rosy color. Compare it to old shoe. This is the new one. This is old shoe. You see it's more of a rosy color. What is this? This one is bacon. Oh, this one's bacon. I don't know why I kind of expected bacon to be more of a burgundy color. I wasn't expecting it to be this color. But this is the bacon marker. How can bacon stink? Bacon is not capable of stinking. I don't care what they say. Love bacon. I actually had some bacon today. Alright, look at it. Lighter color, just on the tip of the marker there. Let's smell the bacon marker. Mmm. Well, you know what it smells like? I know what that smells like. It smells like imitation bacon bits. That's what it smells like. It smells like, um, it doesn't really stink, but it smells like you took a handful of imitation bacon bits, threw them in a pan, put them on the stove, and then burned them. Like you left them in the pan and burned them a little bit, like they're a little bit singed. It smells a little bit burnt. It smells like burnt imitation bacon bits. But it doesn't really stink. I mean, it's not bad. Well, the color is a little different. Let me do a bigger circle so we can compare. I mean, okay, there's old, uh, old shoe and bacon. It's not terribly different, honestly. It's, it's a little more pink, I guess. Not a huge difference. You can see it better here. Hmm. Yeah, all these colors, I mean, they're very similar. They're very, very close to one another. Nothing too flashy or exciting here. Well, if you had bacon that was all that color, it would be some pretty wimpy bacon. I like bacon with some color to it. I did add some bacon jerky today. Jack Links makes uh, pretty um, pretty tasty bacon jerky. I had a little bit left over. I ate it this evening. Mm, it's not a bad color. It's pale. It's a little more pale. Not terrible, but I am I am dying to do <laughs> some some different color on here. Like, these are all so similar. But that's the way they're put in the box. They're kind of put in there, kind of arranged by color, so. We do have some other colors coming up. We just have to get to them. Well, bacon goes on nice and smooth. 
any you see. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little more of a pinkish color. A little bit. I'm kind of ignoring this part down here. I keep forgetting this part. I give it a little attention. Do some little squares. That's not a square. That's just a shape. Mm -hmm. I'll do a little triangle with this. Okay, so that's bacon. And again, it just, it does. I mean, I'm smelling it again. It smells like a burnt, slightly singed imitation bacon bits. Which is not the worst thing I've ever smelled. I'm surprised they didn't do like a baby's diaper or something like that. Maybe they couldn't do that. Maybe that was going a little too far. Or a litter box. I guess maybe they couldn't do that. But So that's bacon. And, and in this case, the little Crayola thing here looks like bacon. See? Like some wavy bacon. There's bacon. Now. Oh, here's one with some color. Look, it's purple. Oh, this one is cough syrup. Cough syrup. Now, I know cough syrup tastes horrible. And it normally doesn't smell too great either. Oops. I marked on myself. Okay. It's nice and dark. This will be a welcome change to all this neutral stuff. Let's see what cough syrup smells like. Um, it just smells like, um, like a grape-scented item, like some grape hard candy. It doesn't stink, though. It doesn't stink at all. It's actually fine. It, it just smells like, um, a, an artificial grape scent. Yeah, it's kind of like grape Kool-Aid. It doesn't stink at all. Let's do a big area. Okay, so it's dark color. It's not like a royal purple or anything. Almost like a navy blue. The lid is... I'm okay. Maybe it's not purple. The lid looked purple. It threw me off because um, on the picture on there, I think it was kind of a purple color. But it's more like a midnight blue, which is my favorite shade of blue. Love midnight blue. It's kind of like navy blue, but not quite. Navy blue is okay, but midnight blue is a little different. So we could do this gigantic zigzaggy thing here. No, I don't think this one stings. It's, I mean, it's fine. It just smells like a some grape flavored food or drink or something. Like that imitation grape flavor. It really makes me think of just grape candy. Or um is it Hubba Bubba? Hubba Bubba, I think it was. Or Bubblicious, I can't remember. When I was a kid, they used to make and maybe they still do, I don't know. It was either Hubba Bubba or Bubblicious made a grape flavored uh, bubble gum. It smells like that. That's okay. Yeah. I'm getting flashbacks of the movie theater I, that my mom used to take us to. And sometimes I would, um, there was a store right next door and I would go in there and buy bubble gum or something. Kind of reminds me of going to the movies. Yeah, it smells like um, grape flavored bubble gum. It's not a bad smell at all. I wouldn't say it stinks at all. I was expecting to hate all of these, honestly. So far, flat tire is the worst. That's the worst one. This one's fine. little shapes.
pretty big zigzag here. Here we are. So there's a zigzag all done. You can do a little, little thing here, like a trapezoid, and a circle. How about a big oval? A little section. So yeah, cough syrup is okay. Hmm. No, that doesn't stink at all. That actually doesn't bother me a bit. Cough syrup is totally fine. <laughs> cough syrup is cool. It's alright. I'm not condoning like drinking it or anything, but the cough syrup scented marker doesn't stink. Oh, here's a pretty blue. Ooh. <laughs> It's moldy sponge. Okay, this one I'm a little worried about. I don't see how this cannot stink. A moldy sponge. That just sounds horrible. It's such a pretty color to be such a horrible thing. I'm worried about this one. Okay. Beautiful. It's like a Carolina blue. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Okay, maybe actually more of a teal. I don't know. Okay, moldy sponge. Here we go. Oh God! <laughs> okay, that's bad. <laughs> that is disgusting. Mm. Uh, well, I'm trying. It remind. Ew! It stinks, but it reminds me of something. You know what that smells like? Okay, I know what this smells like now. It smells like um, if you get a bouquet of flowers. And you smell the, uh, not the flowers, but, like, the greenery. It has a distinct smell to it. And maybe, maybe I'm crazy, but, ugh. <laughs> There's a distinct smell sometimes that the, uh, the greenery in a bouquet of flowers will have. That's, ugh. That's, that's, ugh. That stinks. But it, I don't, I mean... I know what a moldy sponge smells like, and that's why I don't I don't use sponges at all because there are like bacteria traps, and I don't feel like microwaving them to clean them because I don't feel like that's good enough. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like a moldy sponge, though. I mean, it smells like um, it smells like um, greenery. It's a pretty color, though. Look, let's do it right here. That's a pretty blue. It's uh basically the same color as the uh kind of the same color as the lid, which sometimes doesn't happen. You'll see the color on the lid, but when you use it, it's not really that color at all. I know it's hard to duplicate some scents. And I guess they vote on these things or something. Like, how do they decide? Yes, this definitely smells the most like a moldy sponge of all the scents that we've come up with. It does. It smells just like greenery in a bouquet of flowers. That's exactly it. That is exactly what it smells like. Greenery in a fresh cut bouquet. Like fresh cut flowers. Yeah, that's it. That's what it smells like. Interesting. Hmm. It 
is a pretty color. It's kind of, um, oh, that looks a little better. It's kind of transparent, though. Let's do this little thing up in the corner. Oh my god, this picture is going to be a, an array of scents. I don't know that I would like all these smells combined. I mean, most of them don't stink that bad. Or they don't stink at all. But you combine them together. Oh lord. Mm, I swear, when I do this, all I can smell is flat tire. I still smell it. I can still smell flat tire. That one is just horrendous. It reeks. And it's so strong, too. It's a very, very strong smell. Yeah, moldy sponge doesn't smell like a moldy sponge to me. A moldy sponge to me kind of smells like a wet dog. With just a little bit more stank on it than a wet dog, which is hard to beat, but... And a little more stank on it than a wet dog. That's what a moldy sponge smells like to me, anyway. Um, one more. Okay, so that is a moldy sponge. It's actually not bad. I mean, it, I mean, it doesn't stink. Not like flat tire. Here's another one. Ooh, a pretty dark green. Now this one is supposed to smell like grass. Now I for one do not think that grass stinks. I think grass smells nice. Um, no, it, the smell of grass doesn't bother me at all. How can you not... Oh, I marked on myself again. Lord have mercy. Okay. How can you not like the smell of grass? Now you see it's a nice dark color. Very cool. Let's see what the grass marker smells like. Okay, yeah, I get that one. Now, that is the most accurate one I've found yet. It smells a lot like this, which is supposed to smell like moldy sponge, but it smells like greenery. It smells a lot like this, but more strong. It's like the same thing, amplified. It actually does smell like grass. But again, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't stink. It smells okay. I don't mind that smell at all. Now, no, I would not want a perfume that smelled like that. Oh, it's a pretty dark green color. Look at that. I wouldn't want a perfume that smelled like this, but I'm not going to run away from it in horror because it stinks. Personally, I think it smells fine. I think this one is um, just fine. It's actually kind of pleasant to me anyway. I guess if you don't like the smell of grass, you're not going to like it. It's okay though. It does. It does smell like grass. They're right. This one I think is the most accurate as far as um, actually smelling like what it's supposed to smell like. The other markers to me just smell like other things besides what they're supposed to smell like. But they're not terrible, really. The only one that's bad is flat tire. That's the only one I really can't stand. It just smells like uh, somebody just mowed their yard. That's what, it sm that's what it smells like. Not a bad smell at all. It smells 
like uh, somebody's been working outside and making their yard pretty, like I did earlier today. It's quite a bit cooler here today, and but oh, when the sun came out from behind the clouds, it got hot. Today was one of those two shower days. There we go, right in the corner. And you know what? We can do this one right here. There. And how about this little oval? Perfect. So yeah, grass. Grass is not terrible. I kind of like it. Well, I mean, as far as grass goes, I don't think I'd want to go around sniffing it all day, but it's not bad. The next one appears to be a slightly lighter green. This is grass. This is the next one. This one is scallion. Now, I don't think scallions stink. You know, I don't have a problem with scallions. But, uh, we'll check it out. We'll see what scallions smell like. Oh god, I can smell it from here. I did not even get it near my nose and I can already smell it. Oh, oh. Good lord, that is strong. I don't even have to get it near my face. Oh dear god, that is very strong. And it is, it is dead on. That smells exactly like scallions. It does. And, oh god, mm. It is potent. And it smells exactly like scallions. Now, again, I don't think it stinks, but it is a little strong. <laughs> um, yeah, it's potent. It's definitely potent. Now, let's compare the color of this marker to the, the grass one, which is dark green. What is this triangle? Okay, yeah, it's lighter. More of a Kelly green, I would say. Yeah. Not bad. Good gracious, I can smell as I color, I smell it more and more. Oh, my room is going to smell funky after this. I'll do an oval here. Mm. A little sliver right there. How about this section? Yeah, the more I color, the more I smell scaly. Smells like somebody just mowed their yard for the first time in the springtime. All you can smell are the onions. Mm, God. It's strong, all right. That is an unmistakable smell. It's a pretty color, though. I do like that color green. It's very nice. Not a bad color at all. Hmm. Let's do this section down here. So scallions. This is a very, very accurate smell. Grass was accurate too, but I think actually scallions is a little bit more accurate than grass was. And it's very, very strong. You don't even have to get your nose close to it to, uh, to smell it. <laughs> Some of these markers are a little more subtle. Like you have to, you have to poke your nose down there next to it to smell it. Not this one. I could smell it as soon as I took the cap off. Like it couldn't wait to assault my senses. But yeah, so this is uh, scallions. It's a pretty green. I keep coloring with it because I think it's pretty. Even though it, I just have this overwhelming stench of scallions in here now. It is strong. It smells like I'm cooking in here or something. <laughs> Yikes.
Oh, we haven't gotten the dirty laundry yet. I'm looking forward to that one. Let me do this little bit here. in the corner. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that is a very, very potent one. That is the most accurate one, I think. Two more. Here's one that's kind of a mustard yellow color. Oh, this is dirty laundry. This one is dirty laundry. It looks like it's probably going to be kind of a mustard color, not a bright chipper yellow. It's going to be kind of a mustard color. It looks orange. <laughs> Well, they look that way sometimes. So let's see what dirty laundry smells like. Oh, wait a minute. That, um, that smells like this one. It smells like, um, no, not moldy sponge. What is it? What was it? Old shoe. It smells a lot like old shoe, which smelled like a new pair of shoes. This kind of has a similar smell, only it's less appealing. There's something a little more yucky about it, but I can't quite put my finger on what's yucky about it. it. It's not an appealing smell at all. But I have two boys, and I know all about dirty laundry. I know about smelly clothes. This does not smell like dirty laundry at all. It's kind of a nondescript, unpleasant smell. It's like, um... Slightly like a new pair of shoes, but then thrown into that mixture is some yucky smell that I can't identify. It almost, you know, okay, I know what this smells like. It smells faintly like a new pair of shoes mixed with a bag of garbage. Because there's a little bit of a um, sickly sweet undertone to it. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a bag of trash that's sat around a little bit too long and needs to go to the dumpster. Yeah. Kind of gets that sweet, weird, yucky smell to it. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it's a combination of old shoe, which smells like new shoes, and a bag of trash. That's why. But no, I wouldn't say it smells anything like dirty laundry. Oh, I, I kind of like the color, though. A sort of a uh, reddish, yellowish color. Not orange, though. Like a, almost like a gold color. A reddish gold color. See? Not bad. That's a, it's a nice compliment to these other colors. <clears throat> it's not a terribly offensive smell, like it, it doesn't make me recoil in horror like flat tire does. But it's, um, yeah, it's not great. It's definitely not a great smell. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> but it's not awful. I don't know, maybe I'm just desensitized or something. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's one thing about me that changed when I had kids. It's, you could become much more tolerant of things that used to bother you. Like smells, I think. Now, I was very, very sensitive to odors when I was pregnant both times. I couldn't stand strong perfume or cologne. I mean, it made me feel physically ill. But, you know, just having little babies and toddlers in the house, you become desensitized to smelly stuff. <laughs> you just do, or I did. It's not that it doesn't bother you, it's like, but it, I don't know, you just become desensitized to it. It doesn't bother me as much as it used to. So, I mean, maybe these would stink more to someone else. I don't know. 
Plus, I did smoke for 18 years, and maybe my sense of smell is not what it would be otherwise. I guess we'll never know. But, uh, I mean, I can smell it. It's not that I can't smell it. It just, um, yeah, it doesn't smell great, but it's not, it's not horrible. But no, it smells, it smells nothing like dirty laundry. Not, no, not at all. I would, that, that's definitely not what would come to mind when I smelled this marker. It's not dirty laundry. Let's get this little section. not a bad color. I do kind of like the color. I will say these Crayola markers are colors that I don't think I've ever seen in a Crayola marker before. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging the new, the, the different colors. It's not your standard colors in a box of markers. So I'm kind of enjoying that. There. Not bad. There. That gives it a nice little light pop of color. I kind of like the little splashes of yellow in here now. Like we could do another one right here. A little oval. Or a little circle. Oh, you know what? We could do this corner right here. This little section in the corner. Perfect. It smells like new shoes and a bag of trash. Awesome. And this thing. There. That gives you a little bit of a lighter color in the back, which is very nice. Kind of wish I had done this all in yellow, but I don't want to do it in yellow with this behind it. I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I don't think I'm not going to get it all colored in, but. So that is dirty laundry. It smells like new shoes and a bag of trash. <laughs> and we have one more. It looks like a, um, a reddish orange. This is a barbecue grill, which I don't know how that can stink. I mean, I kind of like the smell of a barbecue grill, but let's see. It's a color there. Let's check out barbecue grill. Okay. Hmm. It kind of stinks and it kind of doesn't. It mainly smells like barbecue sauce to me. It smells like a barbecue, like a strong barbecue sauce. It's a strong barbecue sauce smell, but it smells again like it's been burnt, like the bacon one that smells like artificial bacon bits that have been singed a little bit. It smells like um you spilled some barbecue sauce on the grill and it and it burned, you know, like it caught on fire or whatever, and you smell that burnt smell with the barbecue sauce smell. That's what this smells like. I thought it would smell like, you know, a smoky smell, like something burning, but not, not really. It smells more like barbecue sauce than anything else. It's, it's, um, it's okay. It's not bad. Let's color with it a little bit. Now, again, you see here we have this reddish orange color. It's not super orange, but it's not really red either. Reddish orange. Almost like a brick color. Looks like pizza sauce. I guess it's supposed to look like barbecue sauce. The same color as some barbecue sauces. Not all of them. I like the Jack Daniels original barbecue sauce. That's my favorite. Um, they have several different flavors, but I like the original one the best. It's a darker color. It's a lot darker than this.
not a bad smell. Not at all. A little bit of a smoky burnt smell, but it's not overpowering. Mainly you just smell the barbecue sauce smell. Taking my time. Are you careless? The more I color, kind of like with the scallions, you can smell it more and more as you go. Coloring a large area like this, it's more pronounced. The smell is. But it's not bad, like I said, it just smells like barbecue sauce. So we have that big old zigzag done in barbecue grill. There we are. We've about colored in all the little circles and ovals. Don't have many of those left. It's a nice color. It's a warm, welcoming color. It's kind of like fall. A lot of the leaves on the trees around here turn this color. It's so beautiful when you see a tree that just looks like it's ablaze with those vibrant orange leaves. Oh, I love that. So that is Barbecue Grill, which is not bad at all. So if I were to look at these again, Okay, so we have barbecue grill. That one's okay. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So this one, this one's okay. I didn't mind that one. Um, dirty laundry was, yeah. It doesn't smell great. A scallion was very, very strong, but that one I think was the most accurate. I think scallion smelled the most like what it's supposed to smell like, and follow that with grass. Which also wasn't bad. Not a bad smell. I don't know why doing this reminds me of billiard balls, like rolling them on the table. Put them in the little thing, the little rack, you know. <laughs> I always find that satisfying. And then we have moldy sponge, which doesn't smell like a moldy sponge to me. Then we had cough syrup, which actually smells pretty decent. It just smells like grape-flavored bubble gum. Bacon. Smelled like singed. Invitation. I invitation. Invitation bacon bits. Old shoe, which smelled like new shoes. Or a department store. And work boot. Smelled like wet leather shoes. This one was the worst. Absolutely. Flat tire. I don't ever want to open this one again. It was absolutely horrible. <laughs> that one was a nightmare. So that is all of my, what are they called? Crayola Silly Scents Stinky Washable Markers. We have 10 of them. <laughs> and they're little characters on here. Yeah, so that's all of them. That was awesome. I really enjoyed that. I'll show you one more look. Take one more look at our picture here. We didn't finish it, but um, we got quite a bit of it. We filled in, I think, all of the circles and ovals. On well, I missed a couple. We got most of them. See, 
very interesting colors. Not your typical 80s colors, but you know what? I think the combination kind of works. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty radical. And that's, that's it. That's our markers and the scents. I really enjoyed doing this. I want to thank the person who asked me to do it. It was a lot of fun. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you again really soon.